Hi guys, it's Jaden. Um, I'm back. I haven't seen you guys in quite a few weeks. Um, it has been crazy for me. Um, so, but I'm totally healthy and um, fine. I just have been really busy and dealing with quite a few things. Um, but I'm back making a video today. And today I just want to keep it kind of um, just uh, real and I'm not gonna really bother to edit this video just because I don't have that much extra time but I want to get some good information out there for you guys um, again this video is gonna be based on my experience with uh, my adrenal fatigue um, HPA access dysfunction um, just a general crash of my system happened a little bit over a year ago now where um, I was, anyway, this is a little bit of review of my story for those of you who've just tuned into my channel. Um, a lot of you have been following me and watching my videos and commenting. Uh, that's so awesome. And now I'm starting to see that on my channel there is, um, there's a situation where people are actually like helping each other in the comments, like talking to each other. And that's like the first time that's happened on my channel because my channel is still very, very small. Um, and it is growing, but it's, um, you know, my my subscribers are still lower. So if you haven't subscribed, please do uh, click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. And um, give me a like on my videos that you like so that I know what videos are in demand from you guys. Okay, so jump right in. Here's a little update. I um, haven't been making videos because I recently, due to all the stress that's happening with the whole coronavirus quarantine and I had just recently moved right before all this happened um, along with um, a few other things I'm dealing with um, my stress level went up and I had a mini adrenal crash okay and um, even though I was really healed all that stress was just too much and um, I had a mini crash the good news is because I've been doing all that stuff that's good for myself and I know how to recover uh, from it pretty well now, it only lasted like a week. So it used, I would crash before like a year ago for like six months or like, like uh, there was one time that was like eight weeks and there was another time that was like six months and another time that was like three months. It, it takes a long time before when I was really, really bad. But since I've healed, um, this is like the first real crash I had. I had a few episodes where I had, you know, low energy, but I was fine. But this stress load caused me to have a, another mini, um, setback. And so I was out for like a week, um, taking care of myself. Um, but I will say that because I have been taking care of myself, doing, you know, doing all the things that I've been suggesting on all my other, uh, helpful tip videos and stuff. Um, I didn't suffer as bad like I crashed and I had low energy and it sucked but it was not like how bad it was like a year or so ago um, definitely check out those uh, videos that I've made on the helpful tips that I've used to heal myself from um, adrenal fatigue um, anxiety disorder and the HPA axis dysfunction um, so uh, but today I want to, it's like a little reminder, but also um, a refinement, having gone through another crash and knowing how to deal with it better. It is so key that you eat well, guys, and eat consistently. Fuck all the diets. Like, I know there, those of you who are athletes like myself and who are also in like the entertainment business where your physique and your looks are very important and it's part of your job. And you know you want to stay in peak shape, being lean, and all that. Fuck all that if you're trying to he heal from this. Okay, take it from a perfectionist who, I mean, if there's extra credit, I'm gonna do it. That's my personality. And even for me, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. So, just first set that aside. And it doesn't mean you're gonna gain like 500 pounds of weight or or fat or anything like that, but. You need to prioritize because your body is gonna worry about survival way before it's gonna, you know, think about having an eight pack. Okay, so really set that aside. Really focused on eating, 
Even when you don't necessarily feel totally hungry, eat every three hours and eat a balance of carbs, fat, and protein. Very basic, it's like so basic you think you're doing nothing because now our society has all these diets and all these you know, keto, uh, veganism, low carb, high carb, uh, intermittent fasting, all that. And listen, I've done every diet you could ever imagine. Um, just because I'm also a personal trainer. And so I wanted to experiment with different diets and see how it works on my body. And so I've done all of those. And none of those are going to help you heal if you have crashed your adrenals or your hormonal system or if you've just beaten your body down with stress over and over and over and over again for years and years your body's not well and it's screaming out for you to take care of it and rest and be nice to it and love it that if you implement anything like you know keto or intermittent fasting or low carbs or high protein or whatever the fuck it will not help you, it will only set you back. And if, even if you feel like sometimes you'll go on, like I'm sure those of you who have experimented with different diets, when you're going through the, the adrenal fatigue, uh, the HPA axis dysfunction, the metabolic, uh, the down regulating of your me metabolism because you've been so stressed and you know overstressed and overperformed and exhausted, um, your body is gonna feel better when you go on a very strict diet like keto for maybe a week to two weeks because those diets forces you because they're pretty extreme they force you to then use your um adrenal system and your hormone system to give you energy because you're so low in the, the natural balance energy system that your body uses, it's tapping into like survival mode energy, right? So it's gonna use adrenaline, cortisol, and things like that that are good if you're using them for like short amount of time, but prolonged stress and these kind of diets, it just, it just pushes them past, you know, exhaustion, and that's why you have this issue, this, all these symptoms and everything that you go through with this, it's because your system is crashed. It does, you're, you're in fight or flight mode all the time and your body's so used to being in fight or flight, it's only using an energy system that's in, that's the fight or flight energy system and it doesn't function well when you use that system on a long term. You know, you get all that trembling, you know, low energy, brain fog. I mean, I have a list of videos with all the symptoms that I've been through. You get, you know, I went through all those because my system was just in shock and it's exhausted and I still kept pushing and pushing and pushing and stressing myself more and more and more. So this time, because I've learned how to heal myself and take care of myself, I right away was very diligent and deliberate about my food and my eating frequency i would eat even if i'm not totally hungry like about every three hours i just ate a balance of uh carbs protein and fat nothing fancy i if i felt like using rice using pasta using sweet potatoes quinoa whatever i wanted that was healthy that was whole foods like real foods um you know good fats I ate avocados, I ate fats from chicken, fats from butter, fats from ghee, dairy, yes, dairy, um, and protein, you know, I ate uh, plant-based protein, animal protein, whatever that I felt like I was attracted to. I know this sounds so basic. I'm pretty much eating what people, people should eat, okay? And this whole experience has, has made me realize that we've fallen so far away from just being healthy and balanced and not having to think about diet or like regimens. And you know, I, I, I'm sure social media and Instagram and stuff like that with people super ripped and you know, I'm guilty of it. I post a lot of those photos of myself when I'm in really good condition. Um, but it misleads people thinking that getting that takes 
starving yourself or some kind of special dieting, but really beauty comes from good health. And if your health is like in the shit, you're not gonna be beautiful, okay? And if you are, you're gonna feel like shit and then you're gonna really pay a price for it later. Um, so take it from me, who's gone through all that, the best thing to do if you're going through this, eat well, eat balanced, eat just basic good natural food. Natural, I don't mean like supplement, like um, superfoods or anything like that. I just mean foods that are, you know, from the earth or from animals or from um, simple, uh, simple ways, like like tofu. It's not really processed. Yes, non-processed, that's what I meant. That's, that's the word I was looking for. So just eat a well-balanced of fat, protein, carbs. I wouldn't even go so strict where you're counting your proteins and carbs and all that because no, that's just gonna bring more stress. You just follow what your body is telling you, okay? Uh, avoid mono uh, macro, macronutrient meals. Like don't just eat a bunch of potatoes without protein or without fat. Don't eat just chicken breast without, you know, some rice with it or some quinoa with it or whatever. Um, uh, and it's totally okay to eat fruit. I ate a lot of fruit for my carbs. Um, and it really, excuse me, it really works guys it doesn't work fast but if you rest do the amount of exercise that you can handle you want to do exercise where when you're done with exercising you feel energized and um, inspired about life and you feel like wow I've, I've, i'm excited um i've got energy that's how you want to feel when you walk out of the gym or walk out of your you know training area or whatever routine you're doing you don't want to leave it exhausted and feeling like you've just killed yourself. I know we're so many of our of us are so used to that and I'm totally that was totally totally me for years and years and years and years and years. I was one of those athletes where I could push and push and piece. I, I was in the gym. I used to do gymnastics competitively and I was in the gym doing moves over and over and over and over again until my coach was like, you have to go home. And gymnastics coaches are known for pushing you past your limit and even they were telling me like, Jaden, calm down, this is too much. And so that was my personality. And so no wonder why I've had to um, have this experience to, um, to grow and to understand, you know, not everything is about pushing yourself over the edge. Um, it almost, you should actually never do that. You should do it in balance. So, um, so yes, eating is really well. I know today is kind of a rambling video, but um, I just want to get this out there. I know there's so many comments on my channel about uh, this subject, and um, I love answering these questions because I have so much passion in healing from it, just because it fucked with me so much, and it was such a challenge for me to get over this, that it makes me happy to be able to bring anyone who's going through this um, some ease, some, some, you know, to be someone that you can relate with, to give you some answers if you have some questions. Um, again, I am not a doctor. I always have to say this disclaimer, but no, I am not a medical doctor and I'm not any kind of a trained therapist for this, but I'm somebody who went through it and who's had a very stressful lifestyle, especially as far as fitness goes, over pushing myself. I know it, I know all the diets, I've trained tons of clients, I know this stuff well. So, but still do your own research, see a doctor, if you feel like your symptoms are, you know, sketchy and you, you just check out, go get checked out by your doctor first. Don't just take a word of somebody who's on YouTube, like me or a billion other people. But if this resonates with you, you have seen a doctor and you feel like, okay, you know, I've ruled out all the you know, really serious stuff with my doctor and I feel like this is just me not having an, an optimal uh, body and mental clarity and uh, fitness performance and, you know, check out my videos and get whatever you think benefits you from it. Like, I, there's no system here. I'm not trying to prescribe any, like, you know, Jaden recovery 12 steps or anything like that. I'm simply just sharing 
what has worked for me and what's continued to work for me um, with you guys um, so that you guys can uh, check it out and find some inspiration and maybe some answers on your own journey into recovering from whatever it is, whatever version it is of your um, adrenal fatigue, uh, H HPA access dysfunction recovery. Um, and yes, because of these hormones and be because of an exhausted system, you can get, which I did, anxiety disorder and panic attacks from it, okay? It took me quite a while to figure it out that it wasn't psychological for me with these um, anxiety and panic episodes. Now, once you have it, it becomes psychological. Like, once you have it, then if you get, you know, overly anxious about a thought or something then it can trigger it but the initial cause for me this is not for everyone but for me it was because I was physically exhausted and I had that hormone and system crash that's what caused me to be prone to anxiety attacks because my body was so weak on um, its own defense against heightened emotions I mean when your system is crashed in that way you are you're just like a sitting duck for every stress that comes at you in life. And there's a lot, especially if you live in LA and or live in like a very busy city and are pursuing a career that's really um, intense, like the entertainment business. So, so yeah, um, eat well, um, eat consistently, eat good whole foods, balance, I eat all organic as much as I can and wild and non-GMO because that's just what I believe. But if you didn't have a choice, like if you just had to eat something, eat something good. Like fuck it if it's not organic. Just wash it really well and eat it. Um, eat on time. Don't let yourself be hungry. Don't let your system be hungry. Don't stay up. Sleep. Sleep as much as you can. Um, do things that are like chill. Don't watch stimulating TV thinking that's chill time. Because if you just, you know, Netflix and chill and you're watching like something intense, you're not giving your system a chance to recover. You need to do mellow things, eat consistently, eat well, eat balanced. Don't go crazy with any kind of diet ideas. Don't over exercise, only exercise till where you feel very energized and just leave it at that. Do it again tomorrow. You always have tomorrow. You don't have to do everything today. Okay, sleep, sleep well, sleep as much as you can. Um, with the quarantine and with so many of us, you know, not really working regularly, sleep in, you know, use this time to recover yourself. I mean, I believe that the universe always does everything for a reason and, and you know, it's a perfect time for me to heal myself because there's not that much stuff going on and that I can go do. So it's, I'm utilizing this time to really, really heal myself. Um, so after this crash the, the week, I, I recovered and now I'm more inspired than ever because by going through it again, I learned little details of like what to do, what not to do. And I actually now I could really see like how good of health and fitness I could eventually get to with this new understanding of doing just enough and just feeling good as the predominant intent. Not killing yourself, not doing, you know, the craziest CrossFit routine, not play six hours of tennis and then do gymnastics conditioning and then go run five miles, which is what I used to do day in and day out. Um, no. Too much is not always a good thing. In fact, it's never a good thing, okay? Just enough is a good thing. And be nice to yourself. Love yourself, enjoy it. Enjoy your body now, enjoy it when you get to your, you know, 9% six pack abs, eight pack abs, 10 pack abs. Enjoy it every step of the way, okay? Um, this is something I always have to remind myself too because I'm a very goal-driven person and, um, you know, it's not easy to chill. It's like it takes practice and focus for me to chill out. Um, I'm sure you could tell with how hyper I do my videos. Um, but that's good. Now that I know, I'm implementing that into my everyday practice. So anyways, uh, it was a very rambling type of video, but there was so much going on in the last month and I haven't made any videos. And right now, I'm also 
on the side going through a thing where I'm using my eyes too much because I haven't had um, enough time to get out. Um, so I'm constantly looking at the computer. So it's actually not that good for my eyes. So I don't want to do that much editing. So um, this is a very raw rambling video, but um, I think it's got a lot of good information that I've come into and more detailed understanding of how to heal yourself, heal yourself if you are struggling with adrenal fatigue, HPA axis dysfunction, anxiety attacks, panic attacks, system crashes, hormonal imbalance, things like that. Uh, check it out. Check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give me a like if you like my videos. Keep commenting and keep um, asking me questions down in the comment section and I will keep making videos as I get um, new ideas and inspirations and I'll see you guys on my next video. Okay, have a great uh, quarantine weekend um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.